Corey, we're gonna hear that sweet sound in Never Song. His name was Pete. His world was gray. Until he found a friend one day. Corey, you and I checked out a pretty cool game called Never Song. This is created by Thomas Brush. Thomas has actually got a YouTube channel where he's designed the entire game on there for you and allows you to kind of watch the progression of the game, which had me then from there, I'm like, I got to play the game now, right? So I was hooked watching him develop the game over the couple, you know, over the past year when I've been following him. And to get into the game, it's about Pete. And Pete's journey of kind of getting stuck into this coma, waking up to find out all the adults are missing and his girlfriend as well. <laughs> we honestly didn't think you'd make it out of your coma, bro. It's been a while since you were awake. You, well, I'm glad you're back. Too bad about Ren, though. I mean, apparently she was like kidnapped right in front of your face, bro. Corey, what'd you think of Never Song when you jumped into this one? Well, I think the thing that, like, like you what drew me in was the graphics the art style of this game like it's simple yeah. but beautiful like yeah. the way you move around it's this clean. environment it's this kind of metroid-esque you know the way you're the side scrolling way you move around but the way it's just done it's just it looks so good it looks like a storybook honestly the way you're playing through yep. it and and the story is the biggest part in this game you really the idea is to get invested in these characters because there is kind of this ominous deep backstory about you know what exactly is going on what's happening and you're kind of discovering this as you go trying to find your girlfriend Ren you're talking to yeah. your friends that you you know now that you're out of your coma they're letting you know certain <laughs> things that have gone on and so it's it, you know there's a lot of confusion but the game is definitely very dark because even on startup of the oh, game man. it 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 really focuses on mental health and, and it's not something we've touched on this in video games in the past but not you know too deep i mean there's a couple games that have kind yeah. of scratched the surface with it and this is definitely another one of those games where it lets you know you know you're not alone right they want people to know that if you're jumping into this game maybe you're trying to connect into it a certain way it gets super deep like a lot more deep than i thought i would just jumping into this <laughs> and this is a fairly cheap game i think it's a 15 20 game so i mean it, yeah there, there's a lot more into this than just this kind of quick playthrough. And I think the idea here is to not just blast through these levels. The idea is to talk to everybody, kind of learn what's going on, get invested in that story. And that's really what's going to carry you through here, I think, more than just the action in the game. No, absolutely. I couldn't agree more, Corey. The art style behind this is so clean looking. It was really cool to watch and experience as I was playing. And then the other thing, not only does the game and the gameplay and the story draw you in but to help solidify all that is the audio that goes with it dude i actually sat there and just kind of listened to the music for a little bit it was so cool and soothing and it's just man it fit the game so well it was so well produced i absolutely loved the music in the game it was actually probably one of the standouts for me within the game itself God. so can i help you Considering you're the reason everyone's parents have been missing all summer, I keep questions like that on the down low. I mean, you fainted in terror as Ren was kidnapped. So the grown-ups went to Black Fork Asylum to try and find her. They haven't been back since. It's all right, buddy. Just be careful asking stupid questions. I, for one, am about to head out to look for my dad because of you. After I finish counting, of course. And then you get into the voice acting as well. I thought that was spot on. The kids sound like the kids, you know, it's really cool and they're really cheeky. And some of these other ones are a bit of a jerk reaction. And I mean, I could have just popped that kid. <laughs> You'll get there if you play it. You'll understand what I'm talking about. It means about. they did a good but job it, out of them. Pete, you're final. I was about to adventure out to the Spidarian sewer to look for the grown-ups. I'll admit, my tummy is filled with little butterflies. Anyways, I think a grown-up might be down there. Golly, you don't want to know what I think, Mike. If you must know, it is my belief that your girlfriend is likely... Oh, my heart skips a beat just thinking the drug... Her epilepsy hasn't been great lately, Pete. Without her medication, I'm not sure how long she'll last. And then the beginning, too, is so creepy. I was like, man, what is going on here? And I got this limbo-esque kind of feeling oh, yeah. playing the game, right? So I'm like, dude, this is super cool. And it was it's cheap, 
you know for a purchase which is awesome because it gets a lot of people in at a good price and i think there's a lot of content here for people to fall in love with and i think the overall pete character is charming you're able to kind of customize them like mine's got a headband on you know it's kind of cool there's a lot more into this game than i thought there's going to be and it had me hooked relatively early and that's the biggest thing when you're playing a new game is that if you don't get hooked you don't stick around and i was around man this game is cool yeah, you know what, I, I completely agree with you. This is definitely not my go-to style of game. I've played some of these in the past, sure. and I tend to complain about pacing. I, I like games <laughs> yeah. that are a little more fast-paced. I'll, I'll yeah. give this game a little bit of credit, though, because it does throw you into the action pretty quickly. You get a weapon that you can use to defeat some enemies early on in the game. So I was like, all right, cool. I'm getting a little bit of action along with a really good story. And for you, the standout was also voiceovers for me, because I, I'm hearing yeah. these characters talk, and I'm like, all right, you know what, I don't have to read the text which is a bonus but at the same time <laughs> if the voice acting is done well it really makes you feel like you're watching you know a, an episode of a tv show or something right and this is sure. reading out this you know this whole game reads out like a storybook and it's just it's not a super long game i think play times four no. or five hours but again it's you have to tell this story from beginning to end someone doesn't want you know a 25 hour story they want a nice fast story that they can play through but also be fully immersed in and for the price i don't think you can beat what uh, what they're doing here never song i just i had i had a good time and i don't particularly like these games it really drew me in like you said within you know the first awesome. 10 15 minutes i was kind of hooked i was like all right what's going on here this is creepy and fun enough that i kind of want to you know dig into this a little bit more and I, I was truly surprised by that awesome Corey, we're here for a great time and a short time. Sometimes it just works out. What do you <laughs> score in Never Song? You know what? I jumping into this again. The art style hooked me right away, and then we get into the audio, like you said earlier, and that hooked me. And these aren't the games that tend to hook me, but you know what? I'm there <laughs> with an eight. You know what, man? I couldn't agree more. The art style, the audio, the music, everything here was so intriguing to kind of keep me going and had me invested right from the get-go. I love the game. I'm there with an eight as well. Nice. Never Song's great visuals and audio and voiceovers are definitely going to be what draws you in here. But the story and the characters are really going to be the reason you stick with this one. Isn't it obvious, Puke? I have hypoinflammatory disorder. I inflate randomly. 